Hey yo, I go my peoples and coming at you again with another tutorial. This time on acoustic guitar. You folks have been asking for more acoustic tutorials, so you know, here we go. Um, I swear my people you wouldn't know how much pain I'm under right now. You know, you know, look what I did. You know, bloodshot. Slam my own finger in my car door. <laughs> you wouldn't understand the pain that I'm in right now, but you know what? No complaint. The job must get done, right? We're on a mission. Alright, so yeah man. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit all so whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. This song I've already done an acoustic, not an acoustic, I've already done an electric version to this one. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to the electric version. So if you want to learn it, go ahead and check it out. Alright, but I'm going to teach you how to play this one on acoustic guitar. And if you have been following my channel for a while now, you know that whenever I, I do acoustic um, reggae lessons, I normally incorporate a little bit of bass in it just to sweeten it up, you know. So, grab your guitars. Let me show you how to play Bob Marley's Crisis on acoustic. Let's go. So, for this song, you are going to need a D major. Get this D major you want to bar the whole fifth fret place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the seventh fret play from the A string down all right now a C sharp minor comes after so bar the whole fourth fret place the middle finger on the second string fifth fret pinky finger on the third string sixth fret ring finger on the third the fourth string 6th fret, play from the A string down. F sharp minor, or F sharp minor 7, bar the whole 2nd fret, place the ring finger on the 5th string 4th fret. So F sharp minor 7. Then we're going to move to the B minor 7, so bar the whole 2nd fret, still place that middle finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret, and place that ring finger on the fourth string fourth fret so say that they say that da 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 all right so of course if you want to play with the thumb only you can go ahead and do so all right but for all those who want to learn how to use a thumb and you know strumming at the same time you know just to sweeten it to let it sound like it's the actual song this is yours right so now there are two other cards that i have mentioned you know and we're gonna get to those right now but before we're gonna get to the intro that leads into it all right and the intro is like this <laughs> Then you go again. Those are two dominant cards, are two seventh cards. All right. So, um, of course, I tweak it a little bit. I touch a few little different notes just to make it sound a little sweeter. You know what I mean? So, it's acoustic and it's meant for duos and trios or solos. All right. So here we go. So. 5th string, 2nd fret, you want to hammer on to the 4th to the fret. So, now the pointer finger is going to hit that 4th string, 2nd fret. So, now you want to jump up to the F sharp minor. Alright? So, you want to play the power chord of 1, 2. And you, wanna put, you can put the pinky finger on the 4th string, 4th fret right there. So, you go... So you want to play one, and then you pull up, you know, and for these fingers you want to place that um, ring finger from the right hand on the second string, assign the middle finger to the third string, alright, the pointer finger is assigned to the fourth string, alright, so the thumb is going to be playing both the, the last and fifth string. 
All right. So yeah. So you're gonna do. All right. The second part for that you wanna hammer on from the second fret to the fourth fret, fifth string again, oh. and quickly jump over to the fourth string, second fret, back to the fifth string, fourth fret. So. And you jump back with the pointer finger to the sec to the fourth string second fret, hammer on on the fourth fret, back to the second fret. So you get now to finish that up, you want to play the open E, then second fret, then fifth fret two times. Alright, so you get. Then you want to jump with the pointer finger at the fifth string, fourth fret. So you get. Comes. Right? That dominant is that D dominant. Alright? Or the D7. So you want to place a pointer finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. Middle finger goes on the fifth string, fifth fret. Ring finger, third string, fifth fret. So, at times you can place a pinky finger on the second string. You know, second string, fifth fret. So, uh, you're going to do the same thing over, except this time you're going to jump to the E7. So you're gonna go. So. Then you jump up. So now the pointer finger is going to be at the sixth fret. Alright? And you form it accordingly. So here we go. remember to play slow first you know the slower you go the better the more accurate you know don't follow me go too fast you know because sometimes i do mess up <laughs> all right so um so here we go so yeah that's basically it for the intro and you're going to be playing these over and over in the song now guys i'm going to interrupt this lesson just to talk a little bit about this guitar that i'm using right here this is a taylor 214 ce acoustic electric guitar this is something about Taylor guitars, you know, it's just this warm song because I'm not really a fan of thin sounding guitars, you know, but it's just my choice. All right, my choice, my opinion. Taylor guitars all the way. Do you have an acoustic guitar? What type are you using? What brand? Martin, Yamaha, or is it a Taylor just like mine? Probably not like mine, but a different version. All right, put it down there in the comment section and let me know. Let's talk about the guitars that we are all using. All right, if you do not have an acoustic guitar, grab yourself one. It doesn't have to be an expensive one like this. All right, you can get yourself something cheap if you can't afford something expensive. It does not have to be a Yamaha or a Taylor, anything expensive. You can start with something inexpensive something affordable until you can work your way up let's get back to the lesson so let's get to that um i'm not gonna say hard part but i'm gonna say the probably a challenging part right um because all it needs is a little bit of practice and you'll be good now if you're having any problems with my um, the blurry thing that's going on with my guitar there um, with my video here um that's just my camera so you know, be patient with me. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you exactly where to put the fingers anyway so you see. All right. So, yeah. Remember, we're going to come up here. Remember, we're going to be using those four cards. That's the D major, C sharp minor, F sharp minor 7, B minor 7. All right. So, here we go. So, it goes like this. Remember the thumb and we're going to be pulling. No. All right. Are you ready? All right. So, here we go. It's gonna sound like that. Alright, so here it is. So you wanna place, you wanna bar the whole fifth fret, place that 
Of course, I know exactly where to put the, the ring finger. So we're gonna play. It's very easy. So here we go. Thumb down. So. 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 So thumb down. Pull up. So you wanna place the ring finger on the right hand on the second string. Middle finger on the third string pointer finger on the fourth string and then the thumb is going to be working the fifth the fifth and sixth string so so watch I'm gonna go slow see that pull up thumb down then pointer finger up then thumb down actually the thumb is gonna come here so that very easy right so here we go Thump. Thump. see that so here we go again then you want to move to the C sharp minor you're gonna do the same thing same thing so again from here then to do F sharp minor 7 so you want to do one stri strike on the arm the thick string and you want to pull up everything right there so here we go. I'm trying to get this camera to focus. All right. So here. All right. So let's get this camera to focus. My bad. <laughs> so here we go. So now you want to strike with the thumb down. And you want to pull up everything except the fifth string. So the fifth string two times and then you want to pull up again everything except the fifth string so so from the top here we go now you want to move to the um b minor seven so, thumb down on the fifth string, then everything together. Except the thick string, the, the, the sixth one right here. Now the pinky finger works. Pink, pinky finger down. Then the thick string. The pinky finger then when you lift the pinky finger everything except the fifth string all right so 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 quite it's as simple as that all right i hope my camera is not giving you much trouble so again all right and um so yeah so you're gonna play that right through if you do not know the structure of the song you are going to go ahead and listen to the original all right it's very easy. So when it gets to, and no matter what the crisis is, so the part that I just teach, you're going to continue playing it until it gets to, no matter what the crisis is, and the part go. So. Two, three, then. So you want to play that D dominant and that E dominant that I showed you before. So. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so back here. All right, so just like I showed you on that um, F sharp minor seventh, you're going to play about that same thing right there. Then. But then and that is basically it for <laughs> the entire song it starts over all right so yeah so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so again i'm almost at that 5,000 subscribers and i need it <laughs> i need it all right so support your boy subscribe hit the notification bell hit all so whenever i post a new video you will be alerted my name is Anne. blessed love peace out i'll see you next time